Yo, yo, waking up to big W today for Kuro Game and Wandering Waves. So I went to my Discord and someone mentioned that we're actually getting a 5-star selector. Um, if you didn't know, I was actually going for Jian Qing and Ling Yang. And I couldn't, I only got one of them from the selector. I didn't get, the, I didn't get the other one. So I'm trying to get that right now. And hold and behold, I have to wait probably like another day for, for this. But. We are getting Radiant Tides, aka the limited pulls, right? We're getting 10 of those and a free star selector for the, the standard resonator. So, uh, Kaucharo, Encore, Verena, Ling Yang, and Jian Qing. And they're actually making some of the story more skippable. And they're adding Yingling uh, companion story. I, to be honest, I haven't done any of the, finished any of the companion stories. But let's just look at this. They actually put uh, a whole note here. So we've been listening close attention to feedback from players all around the globe, and they're adding some hot fixes. So we're getting compensation of limited pulls, and the cope of the compensation rover that had reached union level two. So you have to already play the game technically. It's not hard to get level two, all right? So let's address this skip function here. The optimizing the skip function we have received. Your feedback regarding the skip function including non enough not enough is skippable scenes i know i have issue with this oh my god i was like okay i got the gist of it let me skip the rest of it nah okay. <laughs> ui design of the skip button not readable enough i don't know much about this but i'm hoping they allow us to press escape to just instantly skip instead of having to click the button maybe that's why sometimes it's too white and people can't see it the main quest storyline feeling lengthy. I mean, if we can skip it, then not an issue, right? <laughs> we plan to optimize your experience by introducing support for skipping all the cuts, skipping all the type of scenes in the storyline and reviewing functions for storyline scripts and cutscenes. So they're re redesigning the UI button. I guess the this is too white on the white background or, you know, light, light background. Logic increase skippable scenes in the main quest including prologue and chapter one. This is the main thing I'm work I want. So but I already finished the story. <laughs> Support skipping character dialogue outside of cutscene cinematics. And then they're adding the Yinling companion story in, in the game soon. Soon. Not not now, but soon. Probably the next update. Or maybe next next update. Who knows? But it said here, which was kind of like due to technical strain when able to support skipping of cutscenes. Um, I'm assuming this is because of they're talking about before due to technical constraint they couldn't do skipping cutscenes, but now they're like working towards it. Or they're saying some of them can't be skipped, like the specific cutscenes, but the the talking stuff they'll skip. I don't know, but this is like <laughs> counter to this is like counter to what they said up here. So I'm assuming this is what they meant before they couldn't do it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, uh, but I'm hoping this is meant before, so it didn't mean they could just skip the whole thing. Optimize the combat experience. So regarding the frequently coming come up in the feedback for, of all rover, including the lack of signification of combat actions, lack of visual feedback of action impact, poor controller combat experience. I heard about this, even though they haven't finally supported. Visual blockage during the con Oh, dude, this... This thing happened to me one time. I just kept turning the camera and it keeps switching back. <laughs> oh, what's going on? It was, I think it was during the tower too, because that was near a wall. And then it keeps switching back. It's kind of weird. So hopefully they fix that. Additional custom. So this is the five star, right? They're giving an additional five star selector. And this one doesn't have to do any pulls. So they receive feedback regarding having to do pulls for it, right? So therefore, they're asking a special item, which is the voucher of reciprocal tides, which grants a free chance to obtain a one five-star standard resonator of your choice. So I'm gonna go for Ling Yang because that's the only one I'm miss missing, obviously. And this is happening on a 26 at 10 um, in in their time. So I get I guess that's like tomorrow. Because then today we're getting we're getting this one because this. This one, the, the Radiant Tide is happening on the 25th. Um, I am, I'm guessing they're like a day ahead, right? Right now, it's 24th. And then they're having 
further optimization schedule along the way fresh content damn already they have to they have to be on top of the content yeah for sure schedule further optimization of the game development new function and gameplay element down the pipeline to optimization of our assets of certain npcs new layer map display function and more and more shinies i'm guessing yeah so stay tuned but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick news video i just wanted to make this this i just woke up to it and i got pretty hyped I finally get my full gauntlet team right i'm i have some guys ready when i actually have a build and play around with them i'm still like thinking of which one i kind of want to build and stuff uh, i think i never played play close, close beta or anything so wait on later days